Hi everyone, I'm Ching Yong. I'm glad to introduce our RenderLer Net, which is a lightweight and efficient network for semantic segmentation of large scale point clouds. Given a point cloud, the task of semantic segmentation is to separate it into several subsets according to the semantic meaning of each point. There are two main limitations of the existing method. First, most approaches such as PointNet has to split the whole point cloud into several small blocks. For example, the 1 meter by 1 meter block with 4,000 points, and then do segmentation on each individual block, which breaks the whole geometry and leads to poor performance. On the other hand, fewer methods such as SPG can process large scale point clouds, but they either rely on time consuming pre processing or virtualization steps. Therefore, the question is, can we develop a method that is able to process large-scale point clouds directly without block partition and block merging? And secondly, the network should be computationally and memory efficient without time-consuming pre-processing or virtualization steps. And finally, the network should be also accurate and scalable to arbitrary point clouds. To process a large-scale point cloud with millions of points, First, we need an efficient point sampling to reduce memory footprint and the computational cost. Second, we need an effective local feature aggregation to capture the geometric patterns. To find a suitable sampling method for large-scale point clouds, we analyze and list the pros and cons of existing sampling approaches, including three heuristic and three learning-based sampling approaches, that is the farthest point sampling, inverse density sampling, and random sampling. Also, the generator-based sampling, continuous relaxation-based sampling, and the policy gradient sampling. Please refer to our paper for detailed analysis. To summarize, we found that the random sampling is by far the most suitable approach in terms of efficiency. However, random sampling may result in many point features being dropped. So the new question is how to preserve these useful features. To this end, we propose a powerful local feature aggregation module to progressively increase the receptive field for each 3D point, so that the geometric details are more likely to be preserved, even if some points are dropped. Specifically, it consists of three neural units, that is the local spatial encoding, attentive pooling, and finally the dilated residual block. Given a point cloud together with per point features, the local spatial encoding unit first found the neighboring points by using Kenya's table. Then we explicitly encode the relative point position of all neighboring points. Finally, the encoded relative point position features are augmented with the original point features. We then use an attentive pooling to aggregate the neighboring feature set instead of use max pooling or min pooling to hardly integrate the neighboring features. Where the majority of the information has been lost, we turn to the attention mechanism to automatically learn important local features from the neighbor feature set. And finally, we stack multiple local spatial encoding and attentive pooling units together with a skip connection as a dilated residual block. This is a cheap way of dilating the receptive field and expanding the effective neighborhood through the feature propagation. Then we stack multiple local feature aggregation modules and random sampling layers together to build our renderer net. Here we first evaluate the efficiency of existing sampling approaches by increasing the number of points from 1000 to 1 million points. We can see that the random sampling has super real time and memory efficiency over. In addition, our render net takes the shortest time to process the whole sequence of semantic KT dataset, which is 200 times faster than SPG. In particular, it is also able to process 1 million points in a single pass. In addition, our render net also achieves the state of the art performance on semantic 3D dataset. Here we show some qualitative results achieved by our renderer net on S3DIS dataset. Different colors mean different semantic categories. Then we show the qualitative results on semantic 3D dataset. And finally is the result on semantic KT dataset. Please follow us on the GitHub page if you are interested. Thank you.